To help complete a feed ration, Highline Manufacturing offers an optional grain tank attachment to adapt to your Highline CFR bale processor. This allows the user to use various types of grain and or pellets at a selected rate and blend directly with forged material. The grain insertion system is a ground driven operation driven off of the left wheel assembly. This video will step through the calibration procedure and sprocket selection for the intended rate of product. Be sure tank is clean of all debris before product is placed into the tank. Fill the tank with the desired product. Remove the auger drive chain and sprocket. Place the calibration crank handle onto the auger shaft and tighten with a quick turn handle. Unlatch the calibration cover and prime the auger with the crank allowing the product to gather in the pail. Empty the pail back into the tank. Weigh the empty pail as the weight must be subtracted later. Place the empty pail under the calibration door so that the material will be caught. Turn the crank handle counterclockwise four revolutions. Weigh the bucket and then subtract the weight of the pail. Divide the weight of the product by four to calculate the amount of product per revolution. Determine the calibration ratio by dividing the intended rate by the weight per revolution of the auger. Find the nearest calibration ratio on the sprocket chart. Look across that line under the correct product type and select the correct sprockets for the intended rate. Close the calibration cover and remove the cranking handle and place it into the storage location. Attach the correct sprockets to the driving sprocket and auger sprocket locations. Then set the tension on the chain with the slide on the idler sprocket. The grain tank clutch is controlled by an electrical switch in the cab. This requires 12 volt power supply. This indicator is to measure the distance traveled while the grain tank is in operation. One thing to note is that the distance meter is measured per foot, but the calibration and the sprocket setting is allowing 5 feet per cow. So as an example, and to be more accurate, 200 feet would be the distance to feed 40 cows. This distance meter can be reset and turned by hand at any time.